It's a change that's going to mean extra paperwork and a fee for some landlords in Prince George. But it also means more money for the city. Councillors have approved a new business license under the core review that targets certain rental properties. It will cost more for a business license come the new year. Initially, a core review recommendation had suggested a 30% hike across the board, but council balked at how much that may affect small business in particular. Instead, there will be a 5% hike in each of the next three years. That final tally surprises the Chamber of Commerce. I could see them bringing the 30% in over three years at 10%, but they seem to have focused on this 5% for almost all of the increases uh, across the board. And I think business in Prince George could stand um, uh, to pay a little bit more than the children who are playing in the soccer fields, for instance. Another change to the city business license regulation involves the creation of an entirely new class. Currently, if a landlord has more than three suites, a business license is required. Come January 1st, those who rent out secondary suites, duplexes or single-family dwellings will also have to get a business license. We uh, had some recommendations come out of uh, KPMG that we should look at secondary uh, opportunities for increased revenue and this is one of them that I think will generate some revenue uh, for the city. It will uh, generate some revenue, but it will also lessen the overall tax burden uh, in some other areas. So uh, I think it's helpful for uh, the community. That license may carry a fee of $155 to $160, though that could change when the bylaw is drafted. Frank Everett acknowledges the new requirement may push some landlords underground with illegal suites. There will be some people that, that don't uh, follow the procedures that are outlaid, but I think our bylaws enforcement people will have a job to do in that area and make sure that most of the people that uh, we know of will, will have business licenses. Dorothy Friesen says when it comes to business licenses, the city may be better off to change the way they are